kidnappers it is. <laughs> All right. <good. laughs> Here's a story from the New York Times. FBI says Michigan anti-government group plotted to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Authorities charged 13 men, some of whom were accused of plotting to storm the state capitol building and planning to start a civil war. Sounds like the uh, Boogaloo boys, but I don't mm. think it was directly affiliated with anybody doing Boogaloo stuff. Storming the state capitol, instigating a civil war, abducting a sitting governor ahead of the presidential election. Those were among the plots described by federal and state officials in Michigan on Thursday as they announced terrorism, conspiracy, and weapons charges against 13 men. At least six of them, officials said, hatched, had, had, had hatched a detailed plan to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer, a Democrat who has become a focal point of anti-government views and anger over coronavirus control measures. The group that planned the kidnapping met repeatedly over the summer for firearms training and combat drills and practiced building explosives, the FBI said. Members also gathered several times to discuss the mission, including in the basement of a shop that was ac accessible only through a trap door under a rug. Wow, that's pretty cool. Like a movie. The trap door, not the weird, creepy terrorist of meetings. <laughs> I'd like a trap door like that. That'd be cool. The men spied on Miss Whitmer's vacation home in August. Wow. And September, even looking under a highway bridge for places they could place and detonate a bomb to distract authorities, the FBI said. They indicated that they wanted to take Miss Whitmer hostage before the election in November, and one man said they should take her to a secure location in Wisconsin for a trial. Richard J. Trask, the second, an FBI special agent, said in a criminal complaint. If their goal was to, like, make Donald Trump lose, this is, like, the best plan ever. Yeah. Mr. Trask said that one of those arrested had bought a taser for the mission last week and that the men had been planning to buy explosives on Wednesday. Court records indicated that at least five of the men had been arrested on Wednesday in Ypsilanti. Is that how you pronounce it? Michigan? Yeah. It was not immediately clear if the sixth man had been taken into custody. So the New York Times doesn't immediately say anything about right wing. I don't know if they go on to. I don't think they do. They just say anti-government. But immediately you're seeing all of these like lefty personalities saying like right wing militias. Blah. The dude's not right wing. Look at this. Here's the guy. I mean, he's got huge gauges in his ears, which is not really indicative of anything. But I will say it's not necessarily like a right wing thing. You know, right wingers tend to be like stodgy suit wearing, <laughs> you know. Or rednecks. Yeah, I guess I guess, you know, you could see right wing gauges and stuff. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to discriminate against people with gauged ears or anything like that. But he's got a big anarchy flag behind him or a big anarchy. Yeah, it's a flag. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Robbie Starbuck tweeted, this is a video of Brandon Caserta, one of the ringleaders of the group of men arrested for a plot where the group planned to kidnap Governor Whitmer. Caserta has an anarchist flag behind him in a YouTube video trashes police. He's not a Republican. He's an anarchist. He's What's the difference between him and Antifa if he's well, anti-cop? I think that a lot of the media is being very simplistic about politics in general. I think that their politics are a spectrum. It's not just Republicans and Democrats. I think this guy's probably an anarcho-capitalist, which is like a right-leaning. But what does that mean, right? Well, I don't know. That's the problem. They're, he's still, he's still, they're still pro-capitalism. This dude's Antifa as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I get it. He's not literally Antifa. Like he's not flying the anti-fascist action flag or anything like that. But what I mean to say is if you take a dude who's wearing all black and says F the police and F the government, and then you put him next to an Antifa guy, they're both going to yell the same thing at the same time. Right. So I get it. But it's like I, I understand he could be anarcho-capitalist. You know, because we saw with a lot of these protests where Black Lives Matter came out, the Boogaloo boys were like, we agree with you. We're on your side. Like the government right. is bad and it's broken. And they're like, all right, we agree. What's the what's the difference? So one of them has an American flag mask and the other doesn't. Well, it's like how cop block used to be. Remember, they were run by like all those libertarians up in New Hampshire who were like anti-cop, but also pro-capitalism. And I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And caps. Yeah. I guess they're just anarchists. They're certainly not Trump supporters. Right. And it's, it's, this is the problem with how the media operates. There's a really clear uh, distinction for what like left wing is, right? You, you, if, if you say like what's far left, you have a general idea. It's Antifa. It's Black Lives Matter. They all agree with each other on most of their ideology. They agree with each other for the most part on economics. So when you say left wing, you're referring to like one large group of people. When they say right wing, I, I have no idea what that means. Is that like a Trump supporters right wing? The alt right or right wing? They disagree with the Trump supporters I mean, on like almost everything. I think that there's, you know, authoritarian and then more libertarian aspects of the right. I think that the right has a lot more um, difference of opinion and different ideas than the left does because they don't really accept other ideas. Whereas the right will be like, OK, well, we disagree with you on this, but we agree on this other thing. And 
Um, I don't know. I don't think this is the kind of guy, this this dude here with the anarchist flag behind him, who's going to be hanging out with Trump supporters. Right. And they, like, Governor Whitmer immediately blamed Trump. She was like, this is Trump's fault or whatever. <laughs> and I was like, these people are clearly not Trump supporters. Like, they might have, like, right-wing views on economics, but they're probably very left on things like the border and police and... It, they're so, certainly not Trump supporters. I'm, I'm so done with left and right, whatever. It just doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Thank you. I, I feel like that so intensely. Yeah, no, like this, this idea that, you know, right wing means laissez-faire capitalist and left wing means socialist. And it's like, okay, so the alt-right isn't laissez-faire capitalist. They're actually kind of left on policy. You know, like didn't Richard Spencer talk about universal health care and stuff like that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, and there's and and I and and then there's Cernovich too, because Cernovich has also talked about universal health care. So the right, it's meaningless. Right. And like if 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 we're both left leaning, and then you go further left, I'm all of a sudden considered right because it's a relative function. So it's madness. That doesn't mean anything. I know. So left he, and right are like relative to each other. Well, definitely. If you're talking about like, th this is the weird thing. If you're talking about left and right in the traditional sense, because it came from the French Revolution, you have the right, which are pro-status quo, traditional, like... Oh, the, I'm sorry to interrupt. You're right. You, they sat in different areas of yeah. the... Yeah. So you had the right and the left. And the left were the revolutionaries, and the right were the keep it all the same, right? I think. They were like, keep it tradition, and you know... And to clarify, they sat in, like, what was it, their parliament or whatever? Their, Something like that, I guess. the people would sit on the right side of the, the aisle, yeah. and the left side of the aisle. So the general idea is when someone says right wing... Are they referring to like pro status quo versus pro revolution? In which case, this guy's pro revolution, so he's certainly right. not right. Yeah, he seems like a far left terrorist. Yeah, the only reason they call him right wing is because well, they can't have it on their side, can they? I, it's just like it doesn't even seem far left. I say that, and it just all of a sudden I'm like, well, he's, but he seems like a far right terrorist. Is it just a big circle, and you just <laughs> keep going to the left, and then you appear on the right, and it's like where? It's because there's no. It's because right wing doesn't mean anything. It really does. None, none of this means anything anymore. Well, they have in common that they both neither neither Antifa nor these groups, this group in particular, I think neither one of them want much of the government to be involved. Like these guys, I think went to the open it up rally or whatever. Yeah. Like they were very very just broadly anti-government. I think that's something that you could look at more than even right or left to determine where somebody's going to fall along that side. I don't know where the, what that would be considered, like the amount of control the government has over you. Oh, dude. You know what, man? I, I understand this anger over tyranny and abuse of power. Gretchen Whitmer, the Supreme Court ruled against her, and they said that, you know, your, your lockdown's unconstitutional. And she said, so what? I'm going to do it anyway. And she said that she's going to wait out 21 days, which is the, like, allotted time. And then she's going to find other means to enforce her unconstitutional edict. Now, you're going to love this one. She said, just last week, the president of the United States stood before the American people and refused to condemn white supremacists and hate groups like these two Michigan militia groups. Ms. Whitmer said, there's no indication in the court documents that any of the men were inspired by the president. But Ms. Whit Ms. Whitmer said extremists had heard the president's words, not as a rebuke, but as a rallying cry, as a call to action. I didn't realize that Trump, who has routinely condemned anarchists and said the violent anarchists must be arrested, was inspiring them, Gretchen. That's wonderful. That's the politics that we get. He's been extremely outspoken about anarchists. I mean, right? It's she's a joke. I can't deal with her at all. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. So come back to check us out when we go live. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. And we are also available on all podcast platforms for free. If you want to listen to us there, thanks for hanging out and we will see you all next time.